The type of grass that's found in pastures and isn't corn, wheat, or other types of cereals isn't the most nutritious food for humans. But for other animals, it is. But why is this? Because animals that eat grass have microorganisms in their gut that produce enough of an enzyme called cellulose, which breaks down cellulose in grass. Humans actually lack this enzyme, so grass just goes straight through the digestive system without really contributing a thing. But grass is surprisingly rich in protein, carbohydrates, and minerals such as iron, magnesium, vitamin C, and vitamin E. Of course, it's also abundant in fiber. In today's video, we're going to talk about the top 10 animals that eat grass. Number 10, grasshoppers. Of course, these insects with their famously powerful back legs are partial to grasses, including quack grass, June grass, and Johnson grass, and even the Kentucky bluegrass of lawns. They're also partial to grass that swarms of them can devastate, types of grasses that humans can eat, such as corn, wheat, and oats. Some grasshoppers, such as the green striped, like to nibble at the edge of the blade about halfway up, chew through the leaf, hold on to the bit that's been cut off, and use their feet to deliver it to their mandibles. Other grasshoppers will just chew the grass down to the crown. Number nine, geometric tortoise. This tortoise, endemic to South Africa's Cape Province, is a grass specialist. Indeed, the starry pattern of its domed shell probably evolved to camouflage it as it moves through the grasses it eats for food. Found in a shrubby habitat called the Rhinosterveld, this tortoise likes to restrict itself to such grasses as red oat grass and Bermuda grass, which is also native to Cape Province. This tortoise eats by grabbing the plant with its mouth and simply ripping it out of the ground so it avoids tough plants that are hard to dig up. Number eight, grass skipper caterpillars. While other moths and butterfly caterpillars chow down on such fancy plants as viburnum, milkweed, blueberry, blackberry, and sassafras, witch hazel and wild domesticated crucifiers, the caterpillars of these plain little butterflies with their clubbed antenna eat grasses. The caterpillars themselves are not showy with prominent heads and simple green or brown bodies. They graze upon bluegrass, rice cut grass, bent grass, timothy, orchard grass, love grass, and purple top. Number seven, Canada goose. This large goose, familiar to most people through its brown body and black neck and head with the white cheek patches that meet under the throat, are native to North America. They don't restrict themselves to grasses, but do graze, especially during the warmer months. Like the geometric tortoise, they grab a blade of grass in their beak and pull it up. That way, they eat just not the blades and stems, but the roots as well. Number six, mites. Mites are invertebrates, but they're not insects. Their relatives of spiders have eight legs and even spin webs. The presence of these webs may be the first sign that a lawn has a mite problem. The mites themselves are so tiny that a person may need a magnifying glass to see them. But what makes them even harder to see is that they feed on the underside of the grass blade. They're especially troublesome during a drought, but it's unusual to have such an infestation that a large portion of the lawn is damaged. Number five, Western gray kangaroo. One of the largest and most common of Australia's many marsupials, the western gray kangaroo. It grazes at night in groups of two to 15 in the woods, shrubs, and savannas of southern Australia. The reason the kangaroo can get nutrition from the grasses it eats is because it's cecum, a little pouch in the large intestine that's attached to the last part of the small intestine. This part has microbes in it that help break down cellulose. Because of the fiber the animal gets from the grasses it eats, as well as leaves and tree bark, it needs little water. Number four, volcano rabbit. This little grayish brown rabbit, which grows from nine to 12 inches long and weighs between 13 and 12 ounces, gets its name because it lives in the forest in the volcanic region that surrounds Mexico City. It specializes in zacaton, or bunch grasses such as festuca and plisma, as well as a species of spiny grass. It'll also eat tree bark and tender herbs. Number three, giant panda. This bear, which is native to China, 
is famous for its black and white coloration, its black pom-pom shaped ears, and all around cuteness. The panda eats almost nothing but bamboo, a giant grass. What makes this odd is that the panda is a carnivore and has a carnivore's digestive system, which means it has one stomach and a short intestinal tract. Still, bamboo is abundant where the panda lives, so the panda eats it, every day, for at least 10 hours a day. It has even evolved a false thumb to hold on to the bamboo stalks and strip off the leaves. Number 2. White Rhinoceros This massive African mammal has a mouth that evolved to graze. This probably led to its name, which was mistranslated from the Dutch, widged, to white. Widged means wide and describes the animal's upper lip. As for its hide, it's uniformly gray. There are two subspecies of white rhino, the southern and the northern, and both of these animals eat grass. The southern is near threatened, the northern is critically endangered and may even be extinct in the wild. Both like to graze panic grasses, finger grass, and signal grass, which are easy for the animals to pluck with their wide lips and toughened lipped pad. The cellulose of the plant then passes to the animal's stomach, where it's broken down in a back chamber by microorganisms, much like it's broken down in the cecum of the western gray kangaroo. Number one and topping our list for the 10 animals that eat grass, cattle, and other rumnants. Rumnants are animals such as wild and domestic cattle, sheep, deer, antelope, and giraffes, and goats that are champions when it comes to the eating and digestion of grasses and other plant material. Cattle and sheep have the most sophisticated digestive system when it comes to digesting grasses. Though they're said to have four stomachs, they actually only have one stomach with four compartments. These are the rumen, reticulum, omasum, and abomasum. The digestive systems of deer are much simpler, so they tend to eat grass when they're young and tender. When an animal such as a cow or sheep eats grass, the grass goes first to the rumen and then the reticulum. There, it's fermented and the cellulose is broken down thanks to the action of microorganisms. The animal then brings up the solids, which come in the form of cud, which they chew. Chewing breaks it down even further. Then, the twice-chewed food and the liquid that was left in the rumen and reticulum are passed into the omasum, which controls how it enters the abomasum. The abomasum acts the same way as the single stomach found in humans and in other mammals, and further breaks down the foods through acids and enzymes, such as cellulose. After that, everything passes down to the intestines. Well, that's our list for the top 10 animals that eat grass. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please click the like button and subscribe. And if you have comments or questions, check out our comment section below.